coach, I wanted to ask you about something that didn't happen in one of your games. Mm -hmm. In the uh, the Dallas Atlanta game the other day, the uh, the onside kick where it kind of looked like Atlanta, some Atlanta players didn't didn't kind of know the rule. Do you use those with your guys as as teachable moments? And at some point, do you just have to trust, you know, that the guys you're putting out there know some of the rules that you can't that you can't cover? Well, you you never assume, right? You know, you know what they say when you assume, right? So, no, we, we go through those situations all the time. Matter of fact, last Friday we were out uh, going through some hands and on side situation. That very thing came up, and we talked about it. And uh, with between Golden Tate and a couple of the guys in the front line, so. Yeah, those are things that you're constantly coaching. Those are things that you're constantly uh, trying to make sure that uh, you never, ever put yourself in a position where that, that I is not dotted and that T is not crossed. At some point, though, do you have to trust that guys just know some of the rules? Yeah, I, you know, you, it's easy to say just trust them, but you got to teach it to them, and they got to know it. And then, then they have to go execute. You know, when, when the pressure's applied, what's in you will come out. So, you know, you got to make sure that they're, they're full of what's full of the right stuff. So when the pressure's applied, it comes out correctly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Dougie? Hey, T-Mac. I mean, I'm sure I told you that that one wasn't down, you know, inside the one. But what makes Riley so good at, uh, you know, really pinning those punts deep like that? Repetition. He works at it. You know, and that, there, there's no substitute for success. You know, it comes through hard work, and that kid's been working his tail off. And uh, he, he's been doing it for a long time. Uh, that's something that, that we're, we're doing a lot of. We got to do a better job of making sure that we can take advantage of that skill set. And that's something that we're working at. We got some, some new guys in that position. And, you know, not having a spring and going through, not, not really, really being able to fine tune it. You know, this is something, this is an area of our game that we have to improve in. And it starts with the guy that's sitting right here. We got to make sure that we get these guys ready and we can take advantage of the 25 yards that we lost the other day on that one play, right? Because that's, that's big. Over the course of the game, losing that kind of field position, you just, it's unacceptable and you can't do it. And, and on that punt, I mean, how do you punt the ball, you know, 60 yards and have it check up like it's a sandwich? I mean, is that something with just uh, technique? I mean, how, is that, how do you do that? <laughs> yeah, you have to ask Riley that. You know, that, he, has, he has a really unique skill set, and uh, he's, he's very confident in himself. And he, he just know, he knows uh, what he's doing and how to do it. Thanks. Yep. Pat Leonard. Hey, team, I just wanted to know what you think of some of the young guys' performance on special teams, or new guys, I should say, too, like guys like C.J. Board, and then also through the first couple of weeks, Cam Brown, Carter Coughlin, you know, just how you think uh, some of the new guys have acclimated and played. They're all working hard. Uh, you know, they're, they're trying to figure it out, Pat. You know, it's like everybody else. This is the first time some of these guys have ever done this, you know, well, it's the first time they've ever done it on this level. So, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, no, it's no different when you try and do anything else for the first time, so something new. So there's some things they got to learn. Uh, there's been some some really good uh, some good things that we've seen on tape. So each one of those guys individually got to work on their individual skill set and just understand the nu nuances of the positions that they're playing and who they're playing against. And uh, they'll they'll keep getting better every week. And that you know that's our mantra in our room. You know that word Kaizen. You know the act of continuous improvement. So we're always trying to find ways to get the old guys and the young guys better. If guys um, struggle early or whatever, would you rather turn it over on a certain unit until you find the right match, or would you rather kind of live with some young mistakes to build consistency with a group, like say on I don't know kick kick return? Uh, well, the thing about it is it's it's a it's a complete maturation process of the whole unit. You know, this is a brand new unit. This is you know this is a a brand new year. You know, so we, we got to understand that it's going to take time. It's a process, you know, and, and throughout the process, you're going to find out who's who, who can do what. And there are going to be some guys that rise in the process and there's going to be some guys that phase themselves out in the process. You know, so that, that's the one thing we got to do is just stick to the process because the process is what it is. And then when we're on the other side of it, uh, we'll see who's who's doing what and, and, and see how much success we can have. Thank you. We'll take two more, Canavan and Jordan. Uh, Canavan. How you, how you doing? Hey, how you doing, Tom? Good. 
This is kind of a simple one. I mean, Graham went out there for the 57-yarder, and I assume it was within his range. Mm -hmm. Did he mishit that or what? He just missed it, just a little, little deep on his plant, or not deep enough on his plant. And, uh, you know, that happens. You know, 50-yard field goals are right around anywhere from, you know, 55 65%, you know, for most pro, pro kickers. So, I mean, that's, that's just part of it. I mean, sometimes you, you hit them. Sometimes you don't, you know, but Graham, that's well within his range, and, and he should have made it, and, he'll, and he'd tell you the same thing. Okay, thank you. Yep. Last one here, Jordan. Hey, T-Mac, what's going on? Hey, Jordan, how you doing? I didn't drop on you this uh, this week. <laughs> uh, how close are you, I mean, it, are you to breaking some of these returns? It looks like Jabril is, is, like, on the verge. I mean, is that the way you see it, I mean, and what? is the next step, like how do you get to that point? Just working on our individual techniques at the line of scrimmage, uh, especially when it comes to punt return and then just finishing at the point of attack. You know, that, that's the thing. I mean, we got to get better at the line so we can be cleaner and then we could have better technique down the field. And then once we get to the point to where we're finishing at the point of attack, you know, Jabril's natural instincts and, and, uh, and ball skills and, and open field run skills take over. You know, so that that's the part we got to get to. And, you know, we'll get there eventually. It's just it's again, it's a process. You think you're close? Yeah, yeah, I do. I, you know, anytime that guy has the ball in his hands, he has the ability to make a play. So we, we just have to understand that as a punt return unit, uh, you know, the guy we got can make plays. And we just got to make sure that we do our job as individuals uh, to make sure that we contribute to him making a play.